Welcome to RealPro Toolkit. RealPro Toolkit is a complete prepress solution for packaging production. RealPro Toolkit is a series of components added to Adobe Illustrator, basically expanding your favorite application to a fully featured packaging workstation. In this movie, I'll show how to prepare a couple of labels for print, including ink management, trapping, white underprint, and then finally show how simple it is to create the finished step and repeat job, including dynamic marks. The first part of the process is to prepare the artwork for the print requirements. The first label is to be printed in CMYK plus white on a metallic substrate. The metallic substrate is supposed to show through the fish and the logo and we need to add cyan under the black to give us a rich black. White underprint is also required. Finally, add a trim and media box to allow correct alignment in the step and repeat process. First open preview for a quick inspection. Preview allows to toggle the view of separations and as we can see, the artwork contains spot colors which need to be converted to CMYK. When dealing with complex artwork, a very time consuming process is to find the various objects which are needed for editing. To speed up this process, RealPro Toolkit provides the search tool. From the options, select the object type, ink or color. And it's also possible to combine the search parameters. The panel will then show the number of found objects and zoom in on the first object selected ready for editing. All the objects can also be selected. During the inspection using Preview, it showed that the artwork contains spot colors which need to be converted to CMYK. To do this, open up the Ink Manager select the ink and convert this to CMYK. The Ink Manager includes a number of features such as ink mapping, setting the printing order, an ink type, and allows you to create unique swatches using combinations of spot and process inks. Part of the print requirement for this job is to add white underprint. User-defined inks can be created using the ink book and then be imported into the ink manager. Which then can be applied to the job. To create the white underprint object, open white underprint, set the distance, whether to spread or choke the object, select the underprint ink, notice that the white underprint object is created on a separate layer. So to get the metallic substrate to show through the fish and the logo, simply disable the white underprint layer, select the fish and logo. Now this can actually be done using the RealPro Toolkit Direct Selection tool, which allows you to select the object, but without being able to actually move it. Then apply white underprint. Select the objects on the white underprint layer, go to color and set this to 0%. Use preview for inspection. Next step is to create the rich black by adding cyan underneath the black objects. Open rich black, 
select the ink under which we need cyan, select cyan to be added and set the percentage. Finally set the width, whether to spread or chop the cyan and then click apply. To view the result, set view to overprint preview and then select trap preview. For a last inspection, open preview and toggle the separations. Final part for preparing this label for step and repeat is to add a trim and media box. The trim and media box can be defined from the selected object, in this case the die line. Dynamic marks can also be added to the single label, for example this information panel which can include for example file name, document size and ink information. And finally save the job. This next label requires trapping to be applied. Now RealPro Toolkit provides a few different ways to handle this. An area can be defined using the interactive trapping tool followed by selecting the object and then simply defining the amount of trap. Predefined trap amount can also be applied to the whole job. The individual trap objects can then be selected from the Trap Color Pairs menu and edited. Following the preparation of this single one-up artwork, we need to create the final step and repeated job. Now, the RealPro Toolkit Nest component provides different ways of creating this step and repeat job depending on the type of job. Step and repeat can be done manually, mixing different jobs on the same sheet. It's also possible to use formulas which automatically nests the maximum number of jobs on the sheet. And finally, it's possible to import existing DXF and CF2 CAD files and merge these with a one-off package design. To start the step and repeat process, first create a new job defining the plate and sheet dimensions. As this is a label job with predefined step and repeat parameters, go to step and repeat with chart. Simply add the label artwork and fill in the parameters. If a different label is required to be printed on the same sheet, Simply add the one-op label to the graphic manager. Then back in step and repeat with chart, 
from the options menu, select release to step and repeat with chart. Now this basically releases all the individual labels, making it possible to edit the various parameters. Select the relevant labels and then replace these with the other label. Templates with empty placeholders can also be created, allowing quick creation of repeat jobs. Also, formulas defining the placement and rotation can be saved and reapplied to similar jobs. Finally, we need to add the marks. Now, RealPro Toolkit provides a complete set of dynamic marks, allowing you to create a marks template. And this can then easily be applied to the job. The job is now finished and ready to be exported from Illustrator as a standard PDF. Thank you for watching.